in the last seven days, we've had snow, heavy snow, ice, wet snow, heavy rain and wind, hail and sleet, and now freezing fog. A still day where there's nothing falling from the sky, there's no wind blowing me about, that's, that's as good as we're going to get this March. Is this going to be the last of the wintry landscape scenes for this winter? So we are very much back to wet, 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 wet. And I've looked at the forecast and actually think that it's going to rain forever. We are not going to be chain harrowing anytime soon. Good morning. So it's a new day. Yesterday was this really epic day. Um, you know, just crazy scenes. We don't get scenes like that very often here. So a very memorable day and a very hard working day. Um, but today's a new day and it's very cold. So all of that snow has frozen. So it's very icy this morning. And I think the main issue today is gonna be getting all the water troughs going. Uh, so we've been over to have a look at one and uh, it appears to be very thick indeed. So first job of the day, check and feed the ewes. Um, and then I'll move on to the ice. I think it's possible that more snow is on the way. Ooh. Good morning. It's a bit better today, but also a bit cold. So, found a nice clear patch for breakfast, haven't we? Yes! I'm heading up now to the Highlands water on the moor. So all the cows got fed yesterday, so I don't need to take bales. I do need to check on this water and the sun's coming out. So it's absolutely beautiful. And I feel less stressed today. Yesterday I was quite in shock and a bit panicky. Today I feel bit calmer so can take it in a bit more. So the snow drifts, looking epic. So there is a decent uh, layer of ice on the pond here. <clears throat> and I've let the ewes into that field because <clears throat> it's got thinner snow, thinner depth of snow, so there's a bit of grass. They'll probably wander down and nibble that. 
Come on. It's snowing again um, and it's Saturday afternoon. I think it's about half four, five o'clock on Saturday. So we've had some sunshine today. The snow's melted a little bit. It was very icy this morning and now more snow, which at the moment isn't settling. But um, if it does, then we're just going to be in for a repeat of what we've just been through. Um, so I'm just off to give Mary her tea and then... Uh, pretty much done for the day so it's just going to be wait and see how much snow actually falls So it's Sunday this morning, um, the big snow came on Thursday night into Friday, Friday it snowed and then, then it froze, yesterday was icy and then we had more snow yesterday late afternoon but this morning looks like the snow is melting somewhat um, and that means that we're going to be, or we already are, in a very wet and disgusting situation underfoot and on the fields. It's a completely different situation to a year ago when we had this glorious march. I think I was chain harrowing now. Um, the lane was green. You see now it's completely white. Uh, but that's just how it goes. There is this like old saying, march um, in like a lion out like a lamb. I think it is. I'd say it's kind of come in like a lion. So hopefully that means this sort of wild aggressive start will lead to a, a lamb of a finish which might be some sunnier warmer weather which would be more appropriate for us starting lambing which is around the 6th of April onwards. So um, yeah this sort of bad spell of weather it is what it is it always comes good in the end you know it'll dry out eventually um, and we'll get the field work done eventually just have to be wait and patient and wait because at the end of the day mother nature decides what we do and when we do it we just fit in with her come on then in the last seven days we've had snow heavy snow, ice, wet snow, heavy rain and wind, hail and sleet, and now freezing fog. So it's the 15th of March today and it's still very much feeling like winter. I'm breaking all the ice on the troughs this morning, as well as feeding and checking after the heptavac yesterday. Um, always a slight concern that one or, you know, one, the odd you might have not responded well to the injection. Um, but I've only got one group left to go. I've done the twins and the triplets and they seem absolutely fine. So that's a relief. Um, it was definitely keeping me awake in the night thinking about it. Um, and in addition, the fact that I jabbed my hand with the needle um, several times and my hand is swollen and painful. So that was stopping me from sleeping. But anyway, that's my stupid fault. It's pretty wintry, but I prefer this to the wind and the rain. So yes, it's cold, icy. It is extra work, but at least you can move around a little bit more enjoy it in a more of an enjoyable way than sideways wind and rain. And, and yesterday's sleet, and hail sideways sleet and hail wasn't particularly pleasant either so a still day with nothing falling from the sky 
um, is probably as good as it gets right now. Is this going to be the last of the wintry landscape scenes for this winter? I really, I really do not know. Um, I think when it was 2018 and it was the beast from the east, we did actually have snow on about the 21st of March. So um, we've also had snow in April. So who knows? So we are very much back to wet, 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 wet. And I've looked at the forecast and actually think that it's gonna rain forever. <laughs> maybe not forever, but maybe until the end of the month. And today's the 16th. So more rain. I haven't actually checked the rain stats, but I know that it's rained more in March than, double more than in March than in February already. And it's still raining and it's been raining all day today so it's it's so grim and uh, we are not going to be chain harrowing anytime soon however um sort of uh, one thing that i'm learning about farming um is to try not to panic and to have faith be patient that things will eventually come good um and you just have to wait until the time is right to do the jobs that need to be done on the fields. Morning girls! So the lane is looking a little bit different to a week ago. The first of the daffodils look like they're coming out and we've got a bit of sunshine. Much better day today. What's it been like today, Nick? Uh, April showers today. <laughs> And now it's 25th of March and it's still cold, windy, raining a lot. Um, maybe you can hear the wind roaring in the trees. So March has been a challenging month of weather. However, despite the challenges, things must carry on. Like the campsite is going to reopen in its full capacity. So. This weekend, we've got about 20 of our 33 pictures taken. Um, and next weekend, April the 1st, we've got our glamping tents back online. So that is like our rented accommodation. So it's gonna get busier and it's nearly Easter and the lambs are gonna be coming no matter what the weather does. So we just need to be ready and hopefully things are gonna take a turn for the more kind and spring-like. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.